on defense. That's a, a trait that all Mr. Traversy teams have. There's Victoria Lux with Bentley's first basket. Right side, Bennett for three, and she knocks that one in. And going forward, because this is the type of setting they will face if they want to make a run deep in the NCAA tournament. And a three for Becca Musgrove, who just checked in the game. Bounces it to Springfield to the cup, she goes. No, Villapiano on the put back, no. Third chance, Villapiano goes. 12-0 Adelphi run, Musgrove to the basket. Banker won't go, Lux on the offensive rebound, cleans it up. And Musgrove weaving through traffic again. Maxie Green, open baseline jumper is good. And Bennett back on the floor as well. Green sees a gap, tosses up the lefty banker for two. Vision, but they're just one game behind the tr the trio of leaders, so it's so close there. Bennett in the corner drains the three. Cassie Smith back on the floor via piano as well. She takes the elbow jumper and drills it. Mackie Smith into the lane, gets bumped and throws it in for two. Bucket today. Had a look at it. Lux. Single coverage to the basket against Michelli, just overpowers her. Jackie Smith forced back with Cassie Smith for three, and she drills it. The rebound out to Bennett, clean look for three in the air. And it falls. Shooter's touch for Trevina Bennett. Right there with him. New Haven's got a good one. Lauren Green takes the foul line jumper and drills. And Kimball got off to a terrific well. start. Casey got to a terrific start. Cassie Smith to the bucket for two. Here. Coming off missing a season with the knee injury, it's she's not 100% there. Nice pass though yeah. by Lewis there to Via Piano. Who Delphi has been what we think is the better side. They played harder here in the second half thus far. Lauren Green drains the triple. Second and third opportunities have killed them. Via Piano inside, isolated, like, having difficulty controlling her, especially with Fakula on the bench now with four fouls. They just have nobody to match up with her. Bennett corner three got another one. Back down Murphy, scoop shot off the window, won't go. Lux over the top of Klorzik. Second chance is good for Lux. Got clock at eight. Mackie Smith turns the corner on Murphy, goes to the basket, score it. And one for Mackie Smith. When Bentley needs a play, Mackie Smith more often than not seems to be the one to do it. It's to Morgan, open three, right side of the lane, won't go. Tipped by Stevens to the perimeter. Fakula tips it to Morgan, and swiped away by Green. She's got to step on the pack, and she lays it in. A big... Green, open three, right side, splashes it home. Not necessarily the most important thing for Bentley now. Lewis inside to Lux, wheels to the cup, and scores. Sure we're going to get more chance. I'm sure we're going to get some pretty good celebration going on here in a few seconds. Michelli's shot is rejected by Lewis, picked up by Lux. And the Falcons will dribble it out. History is made at the Dana Center. Bentley wins by 12. Barbara Stevens wins game number 1,000. Congratulations to the Hall of Famer. The Falcons get the job done here in an electric environment at the Dana Center. 78-66, your final. Adelphi gave it a great run, but Bentley able to persevere and get the wins. Barbara Stevens becoming the fourth, uh, pardon me, the fifth women's basketball coach in NCAA history to win 1,000 career games. And their Falcons improved to 17 and one with the victory over Adelphi. Only the seventh NCAA coach, men's or women's, to hit the 1K mark. And it's so easy to say, oh, it's, it's all just the players, the, the, they're the ones that do it. I don't play at all. I haven't played a minute for Bentley. And those are the things that you'll hear. It's all about the people who have been here and done the work. And all the coaches who have also been there as well. Longtime assistant C. White in the middle of the floor. Christiana Bacolas, who is the point guard on the 2014 National Championship team is part of the staff as well. And so I think we've got some presentations coming up here at midcourt. But at least for a little while, Coach Stevens, the spotlight belongs on you. Congratulations. Thank you, Steve. I, re I, I don't even know really what to say other than when I saw the final score, <laughs> I thought I could breathe finally. Uh, I, obviously, it's an emotional moment for you. Uh, I think, you know, having had the opportunity to know you for quite a while, the game and the, the, the win total, they're nice. But that group photo at the end where you had all the alumni here, I mean, that's a wonderful moment. And I, I'm, I said to Jacob, that's going to be a photo that's up on a lot of walls. Oh, yeah, for sure. There, this is what 
this profession is all about, and this is what my career has been all about, is the relationships that I've been able to forge with all of my players and the wonderful people who have been on my uh, coaching staffs. Um, you know, obviously I owe everything to them, and um, and it's been, you know, obviously being here at Bentley, it, it's been a, a wonderful ride here. Uh, everyone's been so supportive, so I'm just very, very lucky, and I know that. Well, I think we're all lucky for having the opportunity to, to watch your teams play and to do it the right way. You were challenged by a tough Adelphi team today. Yes. You knew that would be the case. Yes. Uh, it's got to be satisfying to have to battle to win a game, and at the end of it, you can breathe and say, okay, we finally got to this point, and, and now we can move forward. Yeah, I, I mean, we knew that they would be extremely motivated because, I mean, who wants to come in and be involved in this situation, you know, and not put your best foot forward. So I knew Missy would have them prepared, and she did. And I thought they fought really to the bitter end, you know. So um, my kudos to them, kudos to Missy for getting them prepared. Um, little side note about Missy and I, uh, we recruited her really, really hard to come to Bentley. And you know what, Jacob and I actually talked about that because I, I knew that story. Yeah. How ironic is it comes full circle in some yeah, ways. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations again. I don't want to take up too much of your time. You've got a lot of alumni and players here to, uh, to mingle with. Uh, personally, I would like to extend my congratulations to you. It's a pleasure to be here and to watch you uh, motivate and excite a lot of people away from the game of basketball, which really is what it's all about. Well, thanks so much, Steve. And believe me, um, we've appreciated your wonderful broadcast of our games. Thanks.